Hey guys, Bronco Carl 92 here. So it's um, it's Tuesday, uh, February 12th, and uh, this video is just going to be a short one. It's just a, a little um, garage project update and a little bit of mail call. So um, anyway, I'd like to do the mail call first, and then uh, I'll show you what I got uh, going on in the next couple of weeks. So so uh, I got in the mail yesterday um, a sticker from uh, Ron's Garage, Aries Raven One. Uh, Ron's a real great guy. Um, he uh, he sent me a, a little note with uh, with the sticker. I'm going to read it to you guys. It says, Carl, I'm not a guy of many words, but I wanted to say that I really appreciate and enjoy watching your vids, comments, and responses. You rock. Also, thanks for watching my vids and subscribing to my channel, Aries Raven One. It's appreciated, Carl. Thanks again, and hope you're having a good one, Ron. Well, Ron, I am having a good one, and uh, I hope you are too, and thanks a lot for the sticker. It's really cool. Um, I'm uh, going to have to see if I can find someone up by me to uh, to do some stickers, because uh, I, uh, I was trying to get some stickers made, and uh, I haven't been too successful so far, so uh, i got to see if I can find someone local to do that. So, Anyhow, on to the next things. So, uh, there's the, uh, the E4OD. From uh, from Bob's truck, I got that on the bench right now, but I'm going to be pulling that off because it's not a paying job. So uh, it's just basically for um, observation. So uh, I'm going to take that off. Um, my friend Danny from up the street dropped off this uh, Turbo 400 here, um, which um, has been converted to four-wheel drive. Um, he has this or had this in a um, and a full-size blazer with a 4BD Cummins. And uh, when this transmission smoked, um, he replaced the whole drivetrain with a 6BT and a, and a 727 um, that I built for him, uh, the, the 727. And uh, this he wants me to, uh, to rebuild and put, uh, we're going to put it in his um, Toyota Land Cruiser. It's an old, uh, I guess, FJ40, I think they call that. I don't know too much about Toyotas. So uh, that should be pretty interesting. And uh, Jerry picked up his 4L80E and uh, dropped me off this transfer case. I spoke about this, you know, before. It's a 243 new process. So uh, no particular order. I guess I'm going to get going on these. Um, I'll probably be getting on the, uh, the Turbo 400 first because um, I got all the parts for it already. So uh, I guess we'll have to give a little plug here to uh, dynamic racing transmissions. Um, they're up in, I think in Connecticut. I don't know if you can see that. North Brantford, Connecticut. So uh, so Dan decided to, uh, to get all the parts uh, on his own. He did his research and uh, called this place and uh, this is what they hooked him up with. So um, we got a full set of seals. We've got three sprags. Bushing kit, filter, two bands, modulator, and clutch kit, and instructions, handwritten. Neat. Um, this is just basically a little uh, diagram of what holes to drill in the separator plate. Um, so there's this this shim over here that I got to put on the um, pump pressure regulator. And uh, I guess do a normal rebuild. So uh, I guess we'll see how this stuff all works out. Um, it's kind of like deja vu with all these parts on the table, but uh, a lot less than the 4L80E. So uh, one uh, last thing that we're gonna we're gonna be doing, um, I guess, soon, is uh, this floor jack here. Um, I got this floor jack from my Snap-on guy. I think for about 50 bucks. Uh, it was a trade-in, um, and uh, he didn't know if it worked or not. Um, I put some fluid in it when I first got it. It seemed to work, and uh, slowly um, it leaked all the fluid out. I didn't use it all that often. I actually had welded a, um, a bracket on there for taking transmissions in and out, um, which I subsequently cut off, and that's why the, the lift pad is gray, because I ground all the 
the weld off of it and made it nice and nice again. So anyway, um, now when I put fluid in it, it kind of just <laughs> leaks out within a day or two. So I, uh, I found a place. Sorry about that. Found a place on uh, the internet. Let's see here. What's the name of this place here? Tools and Hydraulics, and they're in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Real nice guy I talked to on the phone. Um, and I got a seal kit for it. So uh, we'll be rebuilding that jack. Um, probably before the transfer case. <laughs> so, anyway, once again, uh, thanks for watching as always. Uh, you guys, if you're not subscribed to a Ron, Ron's Garage, Aries Raven 1, uh, check out. He's got some, uh, some cool videos. Um, if you're in the cold uh, end of the world, uh, like I am, and uh, a lot of a lot of the guys that watch my stuff, um, he's in the warm end. He's uh, down in Florida, um, so uh, he'll uh, show you some nice weather videos also. So, hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good night.